a new record set at the southern border. The Department of Homeland Security revealed Border Patrol agents encountered more than 2.3 million immigrants this fiscal year. That's a 37% increase compared to last year and more than five times the number of encounters from 2020. CBP Commissioner Chris Magnus says the surge was driven by an influx of migrants from authoritarian regimes in Venezuela, Nicaragua, and Cuba. In fact, Border Patrol encounters with people from those countries increased 245% in September compared to the same month last year. This has taken a toll on the Border Patrol's morale. One senior agent who spoke anonymously to Straight Arrow News said agents are frustrated, have a sense of hopelessness, and are physically and emotionally exhausted. Another senior agent wrote, feel like we aren't doing the job we were hired to do, which is secure the border with honor. William Jackson retired from the Border Patrol in December 2021 after 24 years of service. He's able to speak more openly. Well, the problem with the Biden administration is they're using the executive orders as a way to change the way that we enforce the law. They can't do that. The legislative branch is responsible for that. Why shouldn't a elected chief executive be able to put out guidance and say, hey, this is what we want to focus on? Well, the problem with that is the way that system is running, when you overwhelm it with this amount of people, it's hard to be able to go the normal route. So I can see to some degree how they would want to go ahead and streamline it for the people that are coming in. The problem with that is the safety and security of our country is at risk. We are streamlining things to the point where we're allowing people into our country unvetted. There's also increased scrutiny on the performance of agents. One example, this picture of a Haitian migrant and an agent on horseback. It led to accusations of agents whipping the immigrants, but an investigation found that did not happen, although it did determine they used unnecessary force and vulgar language. This is how DHS Secretary Alejandro Mayorkas responded at the time. We know that those images painfully conjured up the worst elements of our nation's ongoing battle against systemic racism. Now, more than a year after the incident took place, newly released emails reveal Mayorkas was told two hours before those comments that the photos were being misconstrued. The photographer said, quote, I've never seen them whip anyone. What do you think of that comment with the added factor that he was already told it wasn't true? It's obviously no support for the troops on the ground. Even the president and the DHS secretary coming up online and saying, hey, you know what, we got it wrong this time, would have shown the American public how humble our executive branch is, how humble our DHS secretary is to print a retraction. One agent told Straight Arrow News they believe Mayorkas should resign, if not be fired, saying, quote, he turned the president, the administration, and millions of Americans against us. Even President Biden responded. I promise you those people will pay. What does that do to the morale when agents hear the president of the United States say something like that? It destroys it. The problem with the president coming online is there wasn't a full investigation yet. The agency's 2022 fiscal year, which ended on September 30th, was also the deadliest 12 months for border crossers. 856 migrants died trying to enter the U.S. According to Border Patrol figures, drowning and heat exhaustion were among the top causes. If you want to go ahead and have a solution to this problem, first of all, you got to enforce the law. Let's enforce the law. However we can make amends and get people through the legal system here to make a judicial uh, decision, then let's do it. Let's find a way.